Welcome to Shortview Trends, your morning market hit for Monday 20th of September. What matters today and this week for traders? So this morning it's all about China. All eyes on China, even though their market's closed today, Hong Kong's open. And of course what we're seeing is seeing dramatic down day in Evergrande, the property company with $300 billion worth of liabilities, an amount similar to what we saw with Lehman's. The market's been chatting a lot about this over the past few days and indeed over the past few months, even over several years if one's honest about it. But of course, Evergrande's down double digit percentage, as you can see on the GIP in front of you now, that's an overnight price down double digit that's had contagion effects. Hong Kong Hang Seng is down 3% and change. That's spilt over into iron ore prices. Of course, China's the biggest user and, and consumer of iron ore in terms of its construction. And iron ore prices also offer short 10% with impacts and knock-on effects, particularly in Australia. But that risk aversion is acutest in Asia, but it's being felt overnight in other parts of the world with US futures off almost a percent at one stage in sympathy. So with all that, of course, investors are getting nervous and we're left with a key question. Is Evergrande and this China situation going to be contained or will it be contagious? Clearly, if you look at a bunch of prices to date, and I'm showing at the moment, the US high yield bond spread index, high yield corporate bond spread shown against Chinese high yield corporate bond spreads going back several years. And most of the time, these two are fairly well correlated. Once in a while, that correlation breaks down. And as you can see in the indices now, over the last few months, few weeks, this correlation's clearly broken down. Chinese high yield, a major, major highs. US high yield spreads really quite tight. A big gap opened up between the two. So it's contained at the moment between the inter interconnectedness of those two key equity indices, those two key expressions of, of risk appetite in global financial markets. It's also contained within the Chinese high yield corporate bond spread index itself. Most of the constituent parts of that are indeed property companies, and many of them have got widening spreads in sympathy with Evergrande. All sorts of examples of that. But if you go beyond the property company, you find that quite a lot of the spreads outside of the property area of the, of the index haven't widened much at all, if at all. So contagion is, is not really happening within the high yield corporate bond index itself. It's certainly not happening between China and the US in terms of their two relative high yield corporate bond areas of the market. And it's not clear that China is going to allow this contagion to spread. Yes, you say you may say, well, do they have any choice? And I think the answer is absolutely. What we've seen in the last several years is China moves swiftly to contain any sort of challenges along these type of lines. I'm, I'm thinking about Sheng Bank, which uh, a, a few years ago blew up and therefore was well contained at the time. So Baosheng is one of many examples of where the Chinese have ring-fenced a problem in their financial system or their broader economy and stopped it from spilling over into other areas and becoming contagious and, and challenging for the economy as a whole. So it's most likely it'll be contained. We don't know for sure. All these prices have to be watched closely. That's the most likely outcome. In which case, what do the models say? What do our US equity market short-term one to two week market timing models have to say about this current situation? And in that sense, they're encouraging. There's a widespread buy signal from all sorts of models. They're all updated in today's daily rag, which is available to subscribers or available for a free trial. Simply click on the link below. But here's one model that looks interesting, the short-term technical scoring system, clear buy, strong buy message, very interesting, attractive for long positions. Of course, there's a bit of panic in markets this morning as well, which is always helpful as a good contrarian indicator. You want to buy when people are fearful, sell when they're greedy. So for a full update on how we're playing this, please see today's Daily Wag available to subscribers via the website. If, as I say, if you're interested in a free trial, simply click on the link below. Enter your name and email address and we'll send you the daily rag for free for seven trading sessions. No credit card details required. So what are we watching today and this week? Well, there's a ton of stuff coming out. There's a load of central banks on the Oki coming up with a decision. The Bank of England Thursday, Bank of Japan overnight, Wednesday morning, London time, overnight Tuesday, Wednesday. And of course, the big one, the Fed on Wednesday, 7 p.m. announcement, UK time, London time. Uh, followed by a press conference at 7.30. There'll also be a, a summary of the economic projections, the so-called dot plots, with an update on where Fed governors see interest rates going 
and what they're thinking about 2024 be the first look at, at that year and the projections for that year. So ton of central banks to focus on, lots of politics as well, lots of things. There's a German election coming up next weekend. We've just had a Russian election. There's a Canadian election on Monday over, overnight into Tuesday. And there's all sorts of political, geopolitical events playing out as well, including a meeting of the Quad and the UN uh, meeting in New York Tuesday through to the weekend. So lots of geopolitical, lots of political, lots of central banks and lots of macro, particular focus on US housing amongst one or two other things as well. So that's it from us. Set your morning market hit for Monday, 20th of September. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe to these videos on YouTube. Simply search under Shortview Trading, click on the subscribe button or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.